bad things about me and you're not gonna be rude to me in my own house you're gonna respect me because i'm an adult and i'm the owner of this house and you're gonna listen to what i say i got an even better idea that's ten thousand dollars and give me your hat and your overall i will shut up right there <laughs> and he did it <laughs> Yo, what's so up guys, Prince Charming. I am finally back from break. Let me hide my necklace. But I'm finally back from my spring break. I'm able to watch new videos that just dropped. I enjoyed my spring break. Did you guys enjoy your spring break as well? So today we got SML Goodman's son. I need to see you. What kind of son did he produce? Because Goodman is already like a Trump to me. So I'm guessing he's going to be like, what, Trump Jr., that weird looking dude? I mean, I may throw a picture of him right here if I remember, but yeah, I have many guesses on how his son will be. Honestly, I don't want to say he will be spoiled, um, mainly because Goodman, he is not loose with his money at all. I feel like he wouldn't even give it to his own son. He's going to make his own son work for the money. So maybe his son is perfectly normal. Maybe his son is a hard worker. He, you know, he knows the value of the dollar. He doesn't take things for granted because Goodman, he doesn't strike me as the person who's just going to let his kids be raised buy a silver spoon like that's not gonna happen but don't forget to hit me with a like subscribe and go ahead and comment when you have kids would you rather have a boy first or a girl first you know reasonably and i i don't want to be the guy to say it but reasonably i would rather have all boys but if i have a girl i'm perfectly fine with it i'm not going to be like when you see these gender reveals and then they see it's pink like they start like getting sad or freaking out like no that's not going to be me at all if i have a girl i have a girl i'm gonna love her she's still my child it's just i prefer boys just because one they're kind of easier to raise and i want to have a lot of my interests and hobbies you know reflect on them i'm not going to force them to do anything that i want to do but I just find it easier. But like I said, if I have a girl, she's still my baby girl. I'm going to love her. She's going to be my little princess. But enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and check out that small movie, Goodman's Son. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. He got the bars. What song is this? Is this on, is this on Apple Music? Macaroni. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Sing another song. Jesus Christ, please sing a different song. Remix. Ooh. Don't stop that ooh ooh. Hey, don't stop that ooh ooh. Daddy, what are we not stopping? This needs to be on Spotify. Hey, Jesus Christ, shut up. Stop it. No more singing. No more singing. I bet he regrets buying that for him. Yeah. Shut up. We need that song on SoundCloud or something. Oh, hey, Goodman. Uh, what are you doing here? I came here to get your house payment. Oh, of course. I don't have of a course. House this month. Oh, I know. But that's okay, because you don't have to pay it this month. If you do one thing for me. Okay, what's that? One oh, you got to you babysit? I need you to babysit. Me. Ah! You know, son? <laughs> yeah, his name's Richard. He's right here. I don't think he, he's my son. He got AirPods in! in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, looks nothing like you. He looks anyway, just like you. You don't need to go to Maury. You him for a few days because I paid NASA one billion dollars to fly me up so I could take a piss on the moon. What? You're gonna take a piss on the moon? Why? I haven't pissed in a week. It's gonna be a glorious piss. Oh my goodness! It's gonna be one small step for man, one giant piss for me. Okay. NASA even made me my own spacesuit. A billion dollars. I guess he has that. Uh, uh, okay, so um. <laughs> Oh, why can't you get a nanny to watch him? I had to fire all my nannies, Mario. I couldn't stop getting them pregnant. Okay. Well, what? I, I guess I'll watch him then. Yeah, and you... have to pay my house payment. Good man. And he doesn't need much. He has AirPods. That's all he should need. All right, come inside, Richard. <laughs> man, bro. Mario? Kids are oh, easy to raise. Yeah, so Give him a tablet. Richard, we're gonna be babysitting him and for they're a good. Day while his dad uses the bathroom on the moon. Okay. First off, it smells like poor in here. Oh wow. Okay, look, we're not poor. We just don't have as much nice. He stuff talks just does. like him. What's your air freshener called? Poor? Okay. No more work from you. Look, you're gonna respect me in my own house. And why are you wearing overalls? Are you a hillbilly? <laughs> That's why it smells like a farm in here. Roast you're him. You're going to say bad things about me, and you're not going to be rude to me in my own house. You're going to respect me, because I'm an adult, I'm the owner of this house, and you're going to listen to what I say. i got an even better idea. That's $10,000. Woo! And give me your hat and your overall. I will shut up right there. <laughs> No and he did it. <laughs> well, look, just uh, make sure you go to school tomorrow and uh, don't break anything. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, Jeffy. Let's go. 
Mario even said yes, sir, to him. Oh my goodness, Goodman's son. Uh, that's the energy. I mean, I want to say that's the energy I need because I wouldn't just go around disrespecting people. But this man really gave him 10 bands and said, I need you to shut up and give me your clothes, your hat, and your overall, whatever. And Mario did exactly that. And bro, come on, if someone gave you $10,000, I'm zipping my lips here. Here's my hat. And you want my shirt too? Do you want my socks as well? <laughs> you, want, you want some hair? I can, I can shave it real quick. Damn, bro, the, the things people will do for money. <laughs> I mean, we see it in the world. A lot of people do things for money. The motive is usually love or money. Those are the top two things. Police investigate a crime, you know, mercy. It's probably the loved one or if somebody rich, they probably did it for the money. I swear, man. You would think we would have better motivations because as humans, I read somewhere where like, our primal instinct is to have many mates and whatnot. So like the whole concept of marriage and love shouldn't be a thing, but hey, we made it this far, building society on love and marriage and money, the chase of money. So I guess it works. I mean, I guess. <laughs> Why you dumb? All right, Crass. Today, we're going to be running about money. Okay. Money is the key to all happiness. Low key. It can get you out of jail, mm -hmm. buy you better food, mm -hmm. better cars, better pussy. Ooh <laughs> this is a $5 bill. This will get you happy ending at my wife's massage parlor. So make sure you go home and tell your daddy. Oh, and by the way, on the weekend, 25% off. Only five daddy. bucks? Ooh, well, I'll tell my dad. I call that a four for four. Okay. He's been stressed out lately. Oh, dude, I want a massage too. Oh, guys, I'll give you both a happy ending for free. Oh, gosh, Cody. Of course. <laughs> oh, it smells like pour in here. And who are you He's supposed to be? Still wearing his AirPods. My name is Richard Goodman. But people call me rich because I am. And I have to go to this <laughs> shitty ass public school for a few days while my dad does whatever the hell he's doing. Why does he have so a mustache? Me, and like, I'll have my dad sue your ass. Age eight. All right, just find the desk to sit down. We're trying to get back to running. He I wants love this yeah. desk. Give me your desk. No, dude, this is my desk. Find your own desk. I said give me your desk. Look, just because you're rich doesn't mean I have to do what you say. God. The money. Yup. The fuck up. That's, and then oh, you're gonna get up. Sure, yeah, sure. Yup. Yeah, <laughs> you ever talk back to me again, I will backhand your ass. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I didn't mean to. Now kiss my shoe. Oh, Don't do that. I would not do that. $10,000, though? I think you shoot both of us But teacher, you wanted me to. Oh! Oh, oh yeah, sure. <laughs> Sheesh, man. This man is all about all that right, money. Like I was saying, this weekend. Five dollar handies, twenty five percent off. Make sure you tell your daddy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Five dollars, hey, bro. Cody, I, I got five. He's really mean. Yeah, he's kind of a douche. Hey, uh, why are you sitting on the desk? Because fuck chairs. You know, whoever <laughs> invented chairs, fuck that guy. Sitting <laughs> down, lazy fuck. Oh, rich. You know what? I'm just gonna stand for the rest of the class. Oh, rich. <laughs> sitting is for poor people. You're a handful. <laughs> and um, Cody gonna stand up? <laughs> what the fuck does it look like? Are they nice? It doesn't matter if they're nice. They're expensive. That's the point. Well, should I buy some? Wear your fucking ears. Ooh! You can't afford ears? What yeah. poor shit is that? He on your head, Bowser? Bro, come back! Oh. Hey, poor kid. Okay. Boy. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Your desk. So, ten pennies <laughs> makes one dollar. He's gonna own the whole so desk. we know that a hundred pennies all the desk. makes one dollar. Man. So, how many pennies price. make twenty dollars? That's a of fucking pennies. So we know that a They're all standing. So up here. We do give me your desk. Give <laughs> you my desk. He, he you wants already a, have two desks. He's, he's playing, he's playing you Jenga. Know, you know, you know, what's that thing beside you? What, my boyfriend? Yeah, him. Give me him and your desk. I'm not giving you my boyfriend or my desk. Uh huh. $1,000 is not enough to buy. I'll keep it coming. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I have three desks. I am winning. You the man, bro. Dollars well spent. Bro, he, I hate to say it, but like, come on. He is getting stuff handled. Money is power. I think we all knew money is power. If you have money in this world, your status immediately shoots up. People, I don't want to say they respect you more, but like they more inclined to listen to you, bro. If you walk into anywhere and you're a millionaire versus if you're poor, the cus I mean, the employees are more likely going to show you a better service, a better time. If you got money, especially if you're walking into a bank, they're going to they're gonna be like, hello, Mr. O'Hawkum, how are you doing today? They're going to give me a cup of what, hot chocolate, have me in a recliner chair, and have people massaging me while I'm talking to my banker, bro. They're going to treat me like that. And he's over here just spending $40,000 just to get people's desk. You gotta ask yourself, if you'll spend that much 
off something that little how much does he actually have in his bank account bro and he's like eight years old he shouldn't even be having forty thousand dollars i don't care how rich your parents are you don't need to be having your own bank your own spending money until like what 16. until then bro you can live off of what your parents give you unless goodman really is just giving his son like a hundred thousand dollars a day for his allowance man i would love allowance like that i never had allowance as a kid so i never really understood the concept of it getting free money for doing absolutely nothing okay <laughs> then i got a doll all right class so on the gold dollar we have sacajawea and she was the pirate just right ruins and cross i don't think that's right so they put her on the gold doubloons for the pirate sacajawea isn't she a native right, american next we have the half dollar <laughs> And we have John F. Kennedy on the half dollar because he's missing half his fucking ass. Okay. <sighs> that happened right. in Dallas. And That's my city, too. What really fucking me up right now. All right, listen. George Washington, first president. So they put him on the one dollar bill. And the quarter, too. But Abraham Lincoln is 16th president. And they put his ass on the five dollar bill. <laughs> what about my nigga James Monroe? What? <laughs> fifth president. So why don't they just put Abraham Lincoln on the 16 dollar? Did this man just drop yes. the word? <laughs> Were you in? Then we have Michael Jackson. Oh brother, gosh. Andrew Jackson, seventh president, <laughs> on the 20 dollar bill. How did he get this what job? Kind of sense that man? It made no sense. So what you could do? Uh -huh. was Andrew Jackson on five dollar bill and Abraham Lincoln on twenty dollar bill, and it'd be a little bit closer. So class. That's all you need to know about money for today. I wish my face was on money. Cody, Junior, what happened to your desk? They rich now. They don't care about a desk. Ah, no kid. <laughs> oh, he's going to smack him with some money. Hey, I already no know. Hey. Hey, no kid. He can't hear you. you hear me? Yeah, you, you got earpods. Kid desk because you have money. Get down from that right now or you go to detention. Oh, oh never right, mind. <laughs> <laughs> I am now retiring. It was nice knowing you. Guys. Oh, done already? money makes wow. the world go round. Easy. Oh man, today was the best day ever. School's out already, and I got to make a bunch of money. I just don't know what to spend it on. Hey, Junior, come outside. I want to show you what Bro, I bought. Bro, they're <laughs> all. Oh yeah, it's totally sick. Twenty okay. ten thousand dollars richer. Junior, Ugh. she is. Whoa, Cody, that's a cool. You bike. spent ten thousand on that. Sick bike, Cody. <laughs> sick bike. Where'd you get it from? Target. Oh, how much was it? It was about two hundred bucks. But okay. That's okay. I didn't even put a dent in all the money I had. Okay, I reasonable. Nah, you can't, Junior. It's sold out. They're sold out everywhere. It doesn't matter how much money you have. You can't get one. This is the last one. I'll keep it forever. Uh oh, Cody. Oh. Bye. Whoa, this man pulling up! Oh, he's... Oh, this man's stunning on them. What are you poor kids doing? <laughs> Looking at Cody's new bike. Oh, nice! Give me your bike. Why do you want my bike? Throw that money on them. It's Lamborghini. Oh, I don't want your bike. He just wanted because you don't. Throw that money. That's what I'm talking about. Give that bike. Okay, where do you want it? Just put it on the back. Cody, wait, give me your bike. I will give him my bike too. I'll give him my organs. No, I won't. Come on, that's too far, friends. But this man is whipping in my Lambo. Was that a Lambo or a Ferrari? You know, well, that's a Lambo? Oh gosh. Well, Cody, you didn't have to give it to him. Junior, he gave me like two grand. I only spent $200 on the bike. I had to take him up on it. Well, what are you going to buy now? Economics. I can't buy anything now. If Richard sees me with something new, he's just going to buy it from me, and I'm going to have to agree because he's going to give me way too much money. Oh, they keep yeah, doing that. Become a millionaire. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I, I, I did buy these glasses for my glasses. He's going to give you a thousand for that. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so you're not upset that Ken is hanging out with that new guy? Oh no, I know exactly what Ken's doing. He's just gonna be with him long enough to marry him, and then he's gonna take half his stuff and divorce him and come back to me. Ken's smart like that. Clout chasing, oh, I guess that gold diggers, smart. gotta do that. I don't know what I'm gonna buy with all my money. Yeah, I wonder what Joseph spent his money on. I spent it on Asian bitches! He is a black guy. <laughs> he bought chains and bitches. <laughs> well, Joseph, you look pimping. I know, right, dude? Look, I bought new shoes, a new chain, a new ray <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, and I got my own action figure. It even talks. Joseph is so black. <laughs> Whoa, Joseph, that doll is so cool. Yeah, just don't let Richard see you with it. He'll buy it from you. Oh, I've already seen it. Damn it. And I want it. He wants Why it. Why you think you can have the same shoes as me? I like these shoes. I don't care if you like those shoes or not. They were designed for me, so only I can have them. <laughs> so give me your shoes. I'm not giving you my shoes. He's going to give you money. Get your friend's shit and give it to me. I'm not going to take my friend's stuff from him. Money! <laughs> Sorry, 
sorry, George. I'm going to have to rough you up. Aw, dude. Bro, oh my gosh. I mean, <laughs> tell me that y'all wouldn't do the same thing. If this man was throwing $10,000 at you every single time, he wanted something of yours, wouldn't you not give it to him? Of course, there's going to be a limit. Like, if he says, I want your girl. Nah, you can't do that. Nah, nah, you can't do that. I don't know why I even thought of that, bro. $10,000 is not it. $100,000, you know, maybe maybe I'll get me thinking. I can't do that. Come on. But seriously, bro, this man has probably spent a quarter of a million dollars throwing money at just everybody and anybody that just comes in his way. That is the kind of bank account I want. I'm not going to be throwing it around. I'm going to be much more smarter. I just want to be able to afford to be able to do this. I'm not going to do it. I just wouldn't be able to afford to do it. By the time he's done, he's going to have spent over well over a million dollars. And this was a span of, what, two days? Literally a day and a night, really. And it's probably not even going to hurt his bank account. His dad just spent a billion dollars to go to the moon just to take a piss, bro. They just got money. That's never any. They got that Rockefeller money. I like this stuff, though. It's his now, bro. Don't do me like this. He got the money. No, no, you just got robbed. Give him that chain. Give him that chain. Chain snatch him. Give me the chain. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Snatch that chain. That's what I'm talking about. Oh man, dude, why would you do that? Because money talks, Joseph. Now get out of here. Wait, do you want the action figure too? Uh, yeah. Money talks. There you go. Just don't buy things that I like. <laughs> Guess we can't buy anything, Cody. Uh, you know, I, I would become rich. Me happy. Off, you know, I don't off think of him. Make me happy either. <laughs> oh, pee pee time. I'm hungry and I need you to make me food. <laughs> and who are you supposed to be? It doesn't matter who I am. I'm hungry and I need you to make me food. You got money. This is what I want. I want a filet mignon, rare, still mooing, side of asparagus, Caesar salad, caviar, calamari, and a big ass potato. That's Get like done. five thousand oh, dollar yeah. meal. Getting Fruit Loops, cause that's all we got. Fruit Loops? No, I want what I order. You get it, Fruit Loops. <laughs> okay, here's the Fruit Loops. You got Fruit Loops. What kind of poor food is this? It's cereal. It's good. I don't want this. I want what I ordered. Where's my steak and my big ass potato? Look, I don't have any steaks or big <laughs> ass potatoes, okay? Look, I only have cereal. Throw the money at him. Throw that money. That's what no, I'm talking about. My steak and my big ass potato. Oh, 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 okay, I can do that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? I know exactly where I should go to uh, get your steak and potatoes. Uh, 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 yeah, I'm going to go to the Bahamas. Yeah, on a cruise ship. Uh, I'll be back in a couple of weeks. <laughs> oh, he's just going to ditch you. <laughs> Money talks, bro. Money yeah, talks. Like... Do you like it? Hmm. This poor food's actually pretty good. Oh, he's trying to like the poor life. Okay, you see? All right, Cody. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, I like Fruit Loops now. Cool. Why don't you just go buy all the boxes of Fruit Loops in the world? You know something? I think I might. What are you guys doing? We're playing a board game <laughs> called The Game of Life. Oh, that's cool. How do you win? Whoever has the most money at the end wins. Oh, cool. Can I play? Sure. Of course he's gonna win. And he won already. <laughs> no, it doesn't work like that. You can't use real money. You have to use the game's money. Yeah, you can't use real money. You gotta use this. Of course I can use real money. Real money buys me anything. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it doesn't work here. It, it buys you anything, game. guys. Well, let me Ooh, that's, that's just no, more money. Give, give it away. Yeah. <laughs> keep, keep it coming. Oh, keep it coming. What? Your game. Give me your game. We don't want your money anymore. We have we have enough money. Mm. Oh, do you hear yourself right now? You guys sound crazy. Enough money? You can never have enough money. Okay, so that's a good a good point that they're bringing up. We have enough money. When do y'all think enough money is enough money? Because me personally, bro, until I have a bank account of like what thirty million dollars. I won't, it's not that I won't be satisfied. I'm going to be completely satisfied if I hit a million dollars. I'm just saying, $30 million, bro, that will be, in my eyes, a good amount of money that I probably, you know, don't need to really work as much anymore. Until I reach that, I'm going to be working until I'm 90. No, probably like 40. But still, at some point, you got to draw the line. Is money worth your dignity? Because he can just continue throwing money at you and continue disrespecting you. And you can continue to get richer. Because that's what I'll do for a little bit. I'll, I'll let him disrespect me until I get my net worth up a little bit more. You know, in the million, er, uh, in the million range. But... At some point, you do want to draw the line. He's mad disrespectful. He doesn't even want half these things. He just doesn't want you to have it. That is probably the um, uh, the mentality that a lot of rich people have. They don't want poor people to have things. It's an evil world we live in. <laughs> Shout out to Future. <laughs> no, we, 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 we have enough money. We don't want your money. No matter how much money you throw at us, we're not going to give you our game. 
He's gonna keep it coming. He's gonna keep it coming. We don't want your money. We're not gonna give you our stupid board game. I have never been able to solve a problem without using money. Well, you know what? We're not gonna give you our game with money. We don't want your stupid money. So take your dumb money back. We don't want it. All that money, bro. I'll take. I mean, you don't want my money. Yeah. I guess money doesn't buy happiness. It doesn't. No, you can't buy everything. Uh, hello? Hey, Mario. What, Goodman, what are you doing here? I thought he's, you were supposed to be on the move. He's back? You know, Mario, the worst thing happened. What happened? Remember how I told you I was holding in my piss for a week? Yeah. He pissed already. And when I got to the spaceship, Ooh. they were strapping me in, and they tightened the seat belt a little too tight. Ooh. And I pissed my pants. I ruined the whole thing. What? <laughs> but it felt great, Mario. Don't worry about that. It felt so good, I was moaning the Halo theme song. Like, oh. Man, I know, I know what he means. That. So we had to reschedule for next week. After a okay, night of drinking, so bro. You need your oh, son back? That yep. Give me my son, Mario. All right, let me go get him. All right. Okay, Richard, it's your turn. All right. Hey, Richard, your dad's here to get you. Oh, but I'm playing with my friends. Aww. Yeah, uh -huh. said it's time to go. All right, bye, guys. He's bye, used bye. to the poor life. Hi, son, did you have a good time at Mario's house? Oh, I sure did, Dad. I learned a lot. Oh, well, what'd you learn, son? I learned that money cannot buy you happiness. He's about to you hit his son. Use money to get you out of Goodman does not want to hear this. And you can't buy your friends. You have to make friends for who you I'm ready for this pimp hand. And the most important the pimp thing hand. isn't money. It's friends and family. What the fuck? <laughs> you need to wash your mouth out with soap when we get it. Money can buy you happiness. Money can buy you friends. And money will solve all of your problems. Oh, good if man. If money doesn't buy you happiness, then let me smack those fucking AirPods right at your stupid fucking head. What? Oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> get that pimp in. <laughs> now get your ass in that fucking Lamborghini. Yes, sir, Dad. Oh, wow. Poor son. That was it for this video, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. Oh my gosh, this is a very entertaining, good SML movie. This made me laugh so much. And bro, Goodman's son, I, I, I kind of like the character. We need to see more of him. Like, he needs to be a regular addition of the gang. I don't know if they can do that, because, I mean, this is probably a one-time thing. But I would love to see his his um, character development. He started off as this rich person who just thought money is happiness. And towards the end, like you saw him eating the Fruit Loops, you saw him playing life with uh, Junior and Cody, starting to understand the poor life, or the regular life more. I don't want to say the poor life, because they're not really poor. <laughs> Middle class is not poor, like trust me, it's still a comfortable life. You still have a house, a roof over your head, meals every day, you go to school, you get an education, you probably don't live paycheck to paycheck, so it's a very comfortable life. I'm middle class, I didn't really have any struggles growing up. Well, I did have struggles, but not as much as like actual poor people. That is a difference. So don't be talking, oh, I'm so poor when you live in the suburbs and your parents pay for everything. Like you're good. But yeah, Goodman's son, bro. Sadly, he has the father of Goodman and Goodman is all about his money. The son was about to change his ways. He was about to turn over a new leaf, but Goodman literally <laughs> slapped it out of him. Don't forget to hit me with a like, subscribe, and comment on this video if you want to reply from yours truly, Prince Charming. My name is Prince Hawkins. Stay charming, my friends.